Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, where the air is coming from determines how it feels. Of course, yesterday, the air coming up from uh, the Southern Plains, the Gulf of Mexico, the Bahamas, that steam heat now coming out of Canada. And what a difference. Of course, cooler, less humid, very comfortable. Uh, temperatures, though, still managed to get up into the upper 70s to lower 80s, which is really pretty close to average for this time of year. Beautiful in downtown Providence right now. Very comfortable. Obviously, outdoor activities. The remainder of the uh, afternoon and evening will be fine. No storms to be found. Temp now at 70 after reaching uh, 82 this afternoon. Winds are south at 16. That's coming in off the ocean, so the beaches have cooled off. Humidity a lot lower. Dry air at 49%. Temperatures are in the upper 60s to lower 70, 72 in Providence, 68 down in Newport in the beaches, westerly 71, out towards uh, central and northern Connecticut, actually getting up into the uh, low and even middle 80s. So we are tracking uh, relief, uh, some showers coming up later in the week and for a portion of the weekend. Uh, the threat tracker remains low through the next uh, couple of days. We don't see anything significant uh, with precipitation on the Doppler radar. It's nice and quiet with that dry air in place. Take a look at the satellite and radar composite, and you can see a storm system spinning across the northern plains. In fact, this boundary right in here is almost like a picket fence. It separates the dry, comfortable air coming out of Canada from the warm, sultry summertime air up from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're on the dry side and comfortable side of things uh, for the next roughly uh, couple of days. You can see the dew points, that number that measures the humidity uh, much lower, so the shading of brown and tan in New England represents the dry air that's come in. This green wedge is essentially where the high humidity, the tropical air is located. That'll make a run at us for the weekend. That's not to say that heat is on the way for this weekend, but certainly higher humidity comes Saturday and especially on Sunday. The heat suppressed off to the south right now down in places like Richmond, making it up to 82, so a very nice day, but cooler for tomorrow, meaning high temperatures probably reaching the lower 70s, but still beautiful for your third Thursday. Get in real close. Take a look at Futurecast starting off this evening at 7 o'clock with the clear skies. Delightful, but a lot cooler late tonight. We'll head down to the low 50s just before sunrise. 6 o'clock in the morning, sunshine, 56 degrees. And then during the afternoon, reaching the uh, lower 70s for daytime highs with plenty of sunshine. Another gorgeous day, still with that low humidity in place. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, the weather looking good with clear conditions. Futurecast for tomorrow morning with some sunshine starting off 60 early in the morning. Uh, a very comfortable start to the day and looking good tomorrow afternoon. Still a dry, comfortable air mass. Perhaps temperatures running a little below average, but not by much. Uh, anything outdoors tomorrow, it looks pretty good. Sunscreen a must. Seven-day future cast. Uh, scattered showers on Friday at 70. More humid Saturday with a chance of a shower at 75. Father's Day Sunday, partly sunny skies, warmer, more humid. Feeling more like summer on Sunday with a high temperature of 82. We'll bring in some showers and thunderstorms. Monday of next week with a high temp at around uh, 82. Right now, leaning towards Sunday being the slightly brighter and warmer day uh, this weekend. All right, Tony, thanks. Still ahead on our with